Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yasanga Miza. I am the Marine Alien Species Researcher at Sandy in Cape Town. And my talk today is on marine and coastal alien and invasive species, the latest information. I'll start by defining what marine invasive species are and then alien, what, what alien species are. Marine invasive species are alien species that have self-replacing populations over several generations that have spread from their point of origin. Whereas alien species are those whose presence in a region is attributed to human actions that has enabled them to overcome geographical barriers. Marine alien uh, species have ecological impacts and economic impacts. For example, Samimitilus alcosas has been reported to reduce the availability of space for native mussels and limpets on some, of, on some parts of the shoreline here in South Africa. And again, uh, Mytilus galloprovincialis has been um, observed clogging water cooling system pipes, for example, in the Kubek power station, and which makes this species a biofouling species on infrastructure. Um, marine uh, biological invasions in South Africa has increased through time. And this is evidenced by the increasing number of alien and invasive species that have been listed over the years. For example, the first attempt at listing alien species in the early 90s started by listing just 15 species. And in the late 2000s, then 86 alien species were listed with 39, of the, with 39 cryptogenic species. However, in, 2000, in, in 2016, um, 36 alien species were recorded and 53 alien um, invasive species were recorded. But recently, uh, in the National Biodiversity Assessment 2018, uh, five alien species were added and two invasive species were added, which brought it to a total of 96 alien and invasive species in the country. The 96 species represent 14 phyla and Three of them have, have uh, proven to be the majority of marine alien and invasive species. For example, the Crustacea, the Nidaria, and the Mollusca. Marine alien and invasive species come in through, to the country through pathways and vectors. And in biological invasions, pathways are defined as the processes by which alien species are introduced to a new geographical area outside of their natural range. And vectors are the physical means or the agents by which a species is transported. And according to this, the number, the high number of alien and invasive species that have, brought, that have been brought in through the country via uh, shipping, it is evident that shipping through biofouling and ballast water are the major factors that are attributed to the high number of alien and invasive species in the country. As shown by the graph in the previous slide, ballast water has played a major role as a vector in the introduction of marine alien species in South Africa. And due to the high shipping traffic, South Africa became a signatory to the Ballast Water Management Convention, which seeks to regulate and control the discharge of ballast water and sediments into the marine ecosystem. Many years later, after the convention had been ratified, in 2017, this convention came into force. As such, South Africa is now in the process of finalizing legislation that will bring the provisions of this convention to force. Biofouling is the second major vector that is attributed to the high number of marine alien and invasive species in the country. And by definition, biofouling is the accumulation of organisms on surfaces and structures immersed in or exposed to the aquatic environment, and as such play a very key part in the transfer and spread of marine alien and invasive species. Now, 20 alien species were recorded in yachts, fouling on yachts, in a recent study of four Western Cape mariners. And this is a typical example of the introduction of a new alien species in South African waters um, 
of Capella mutica, the Japanese skeleton shrimp. This um, species is found to prefer artificial habitats, which is why it is mostly found in harbors. And again, it is very competitive against other native caprylate species. In South Africa, these alien species are found in a variety of um, habitats, but most of them have been recorded occurring in artificial habitats such as harbors and marinas. This high number in harbors is said to be attributed to the fact that harbors are the first point of entry for shipping and recreational boating industry. And as a result, they act as the recipients of alien and invasive species. And again, they facilitate the spread, the local spread of these alien species due to the movement of small vessels from one local harbor to the next. Thank you.